So, so you're taking the complete opposite position of Just Stop Oil. Why are you right and why are they wrong? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard for me to even capture the evil of Just Stop Oil because it's a combination of criminality, but in the service of an anti-human goal, which is the rapid elimination of fossil fuels. And just to put this in perspective, even leaving aside the criminality, policies like Just Stop Oil are the reason we're in a global energy crisis. Uh, other Alex that is has talked so about not the, true. The we price. can be insulating okay, homes and well, saving people. Alex, 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 let Alex Epstein finish, and then you'll be able to respond, Beyond Alex. Your, your Greenpeace talking points, which are all refuted on energytalkingpoints.com if you want to learn about it. Anyway, so we have this crisis, which is the supply supply of fossil fuels has been suppressed by groups like Just Stop Oil. That was their goal. They have succeeded. They try to claim, they try to compare the price of unreliable solar and wind and reliables. That makes no sense. Those are not apples to apples things at all. But they've caused a global energy crisis and they have the goal to say, no, we need to stop all new development, which will make the crisis even worse in the next eight years. And then they're doing it in a totally criminal way. So they're destroying human life and then that's their end. And then their means is destroying human life. So in my view, other Alex and everyone else associated with this organization should be in prison. So it doesn't look like he's in a prison right now. That's where he should be calling from. And I'd be more than happy to educate him. He just has these bizarre Greenpeace false talking points. I will send him in prison or wherever he ends up a copy of Fossil Future and I will complimentary give it to everyone in this organization. But you are anti-human criminals as of now.